last digit concept now in many entrance examinations including cat and even in gre and gmat questions about mm, determining the last digit of expression or a uh, last digit of a uh, any number raised to some power was asked looking at the question you may feel that it is not possible to solve the question without the use of electronic devices but if you try to solve this question with the help of some fundamental concept you will realize that it is pretty easy to deal with such questions first of all let us see the fundamental behind the question okay consider a number say 24 now if you divide this number by 10 then remainder will be 4 because 10 to the 20 so you will get 4 as a remainder now let us see some another number for example say uh 66 let us divide it by 10 10 6 60 you will get 6 as a remainder okay what if the number ends in 0 for example the number is 40 if you divide it by 10 then 10 fours are 40 answer will be 0 now if you see all the three questions all the three divisions you will realize that the uh, unit digit of the Uh, given number and the remainder are always same when you divide a number by 10 so this is the basic concept if you divide any expression or any number by 10 the remainder that you obtain obviously we can obtain the remainder using remainder theorem and the remainder you obtain is a required answer okay let us see determine the last digit of 11 into 12 into 13 obviously you can obtain the product directly and say that this is the answer but i i just uh, consider this sum of a lower magnitude just to explain you 11 into 12 into 13 okay now we want the unit digit of the product so let us divide this by 10 so applying remainder theorem 10 ones are 10 and we get one as a remainder 10 ones are 10 we get two as a remainder 10 ones are 10 we get three as a remainder for those who are not knowing what is remainder theorem i request you to go back to my previous tutorials to see what exactly is remainder theorem and let us further divide this by 10 so it will be basically 6 divided by 10 and when you divide 6 by 10 it is not divisible so obviously our remainder is 6 and this would be the answer let us tell it this 12 into 11 and that will make 12 and here it will be 120 so answer will be 2 2 1 it is 3 and this will be 1 and 132 into 13 so it will be basically 130 1320 and uh 3 to the Six and three three is a nine. Three ones are three. So obviously the unit digit will be six. And nine plus one ten plus one eleven and one one three plus three six plus one seven one. Obviously these things are immaterial. We are just interested in this digit. So our answer is okay. So let us see some more questions. Okay, now this is the question: eleven into twelve into thirteen into fourteen into fifteen. Now, do you think we need to 
apply the entire procedure over here? I guess no. Why? 11 into 12 into 13 into 14 into 15. Now, here 11 will not have either 2 or 5 as a factor. 12 will have 2 as a factor. 13 won't have 2 or 5 as a factor. 14 will also not have uh, 5 as a factor. Obviously, it will have 2 as a factor. But in 15, we will get uh, 5 and 3. So, we will have only 1 5 in the entire expression and 1 2. I mean, many 2s, but only 1 5. So, we will get only 1 pair of 5 and 2, which will add, uh, which will make up to 10. And th this will give 1 0 at the end. And so, obviously, when we will. Uh, uh, take the product of all of this the number will uh, the expression of the number shall, shall end in 0 so here we don't need to go through that entire procedure let us move ahead now uh, this was the method which can be used when the number are given in the form of product but what if any number is to some very huge power then what to do okay and now we will see the concept related to that so let us start all the real whole numbers can be represented in either of the following forms either it can be a factor of 4 that is 4n or it can be represented as 4n plus 1 or 4n plus 2 or 4n plus 3 where n is any positive whole number n is any positive whole number okay uh, now let us see one table now looking at the table you may find it how to remember this but we will somehow manage to do it see the power which is given to us we shall try to represent it in obviously uh, out of this four forms it can be represented in any one of the forms and we will determine that form uh, unit digit of the base number uh, either it can be one or two or three or it can be any number from 1 to 9. Now, if the power is represented in the form of 4n plus 1 and the unit digit of the base number is 1, then your answer would be 1. I mean the unit digit of the entire expression would be 1. If the power is in the form of one, uh, 4n plus 1 and the base number ends in 2, then the when the number is expanded, the final answer will be 2. This applies to all of them. For example, if your uh, power is represented in form of 4n plus 3, and your unit digit is uh, unit digit of the base number is 8, then the last digit, that is the unit digit of the entire expression, will be 2. How to remember this number? This is 1. Ignore this part for a while. What is this? This is 1. So 1, 1, 1. Okay. 2 raised to power 1 is 2, 3 raised to power 1 is 3, 4 raised to power 1 is 4, 5 raised to power 1 is 5, 6 raised to power 1 is 6, 7 raised to power 1 is 7, 8 raised to power 1 is 8, 9 raised to power 1 is 9. Okay. Now, how to remember this column? 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, ends in 6, so we, are we have taken 6 over here. 5 square is 25, ends in 5. 6 square is 36 again it ends in 6, 7 square is 49 ends in 9, 8 square is 64 ends in 4 and 9 square is 81 ends in 1. Again take the cube of this column to get the this column and uh, take the fourth power to get this one. Okay. Now let us apply this concept. Determine the last digit of 2 raised to 1, 2, 3. First we need to determine uh, to which form 123 belongs to so for that there is one simple procedure just divide 123 by 4 so it will be 4 3 the 12 it gives 0 as a reminder and 3 and 3 always remain as a reminder because it is not further divisible so this is your numerator will become, uh, sorry, your quotient will become n and this is our reminder. So this number is in the form of 4n plus 3. Also, the unit digit, that is the only digit of our base number is 2. So let us 
obviously you need to remember the table but right now just to explain you i am referring to the table so that you can understand it in a better manner so our base uh, unit digit of the base number is 2 and the number is in the form of 4 and plus 3 this is 2 4 and plus 3 so our answer is 8 so the entire expression when expanded will end in 8 this is our answer easy let us see ahead now what to do in such cases uh, 13 let us divide it by 4 it will be 4 3 that well remainder is 1 so number is of the form that is the power is in the form of 4 n plus 1 and the unit digit is of the base is 2 let us see uh, what this will yield to us c power is in the form of 4 n plus 1 and unit digit of base number is 2 so this will give us 1 2 in the unit please okay so this will this expression will give us 2 and now 4 this will obviously be in the form of 4 n because 4 3 that will so this is in the form of 4 n and this is 13 so uh, 13 means the base number ends in 3 so let us again refer to the table base number ends in 3 and power is in the form of 4n base number unit digit of base number is 3 and power ends in the form of 4n so our answer will be 1 so this will give 1 at a unit place now again when it is a product so take the multiplication of this two it is but obvious why we are taking this multiplication so final answer will be 2 easy let us see add yes now this concept can be further extended to the factorial values now if you realize something uh, then this question is too easy uh, see any factorial value more than that is if the for example n factorial if the value of n is greater than 4 then that number will surely be in the form of 4n why because when you will take factorial of 123 it will be wa what 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 yes here comes the trick 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 till 123 but obviously this will have 4 as a factor so this can be represented as 4n if this can be represented as 4n and the unit digit of base is 2 then our answer will be uh, according to the table base number 2 and power of the form 4n base number 2 and power of the form 4n the answer will be 6 so our answer is 6 straight away very simple you just need to logically remember that table don't try to cram it it is pretty simple according to the method i explained uh, it is easy to remember that table okay thank you and do visit us keep visiting see you soon bye